Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of men's grooming tips and tricks video and I'll talk about three things that I want you to know about disposable and cartridge razor. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into exploring beyond boundaries, you may want to subscribe to this channel. If you're looking for more this type of videos, there'll be links in the description box below. Whether you're shaving with a disposable or cartridge razors, which I have right here, or you're shaving with the double edge razors, I have it right here. There are three things uh, the manufacturers may not want you to know, and I'll go over them with you today. So the first thing they don't want you to know that if you're shaving with a disposable razor, whether this is like a five blade or seven blade or three, four blades razor, it doesn't make a difference, it's the same thing, uh, due to the fact that anytime you're shaving with a multiple blade razors, you, are, you have this blade right here on the bottom, and then there are other blades. So what happens when you're shaving, this blade is the one which is, you know, cut your most of the hair, and then it just keeps doing it every time you shave. It's not like these are interchanging among each other. So you're just like, you know, cutting it with the first blade, and then you're just like you know, repeating with these blades. So what happens after your first shave or second shave, this is going to get less sharp and it's going to irritate your face because you're shaving your face with something which is not that sharp anymore. And that's how you, uh, you know, irritate your face and you, give, uh, you get lots of like razor burns and other stuff, which is not very good for the face. And the other thing is that uh, you are kind of plowing your face with uh, five blades. And let's say if you are, doing a few passes then on your face that's like you know a blade going through could be like 30 times or 40 times just like a single blade so you can imagine that you're shaving your face with this blade 40 times which is going to be equally shaving with this blade one time so that's what the manufacturer they do not want you to know and another thing you may have noticed that you know uh, when you're shaving it's very difficult to clean uh, and the things get stuck inside. So for example, you can see that uh, I put this blade under like, you know, a uh, tap in heavy force and still there's like, you know, uh, foam, beard and stuff inside. You cannot just take them out because that's the way the designing is. Uh, things will get inside and it will like, you know, keep stay there uh, until like you know, change your blade. And then once you have a new blade, it's the same reputation again. So you will never be able to clean everything like a double edge razor so this is very unhealthy and this is something you know the manufacturer they don't want you to know the second thing about uh, cartridge or disposable uh, razors manufacturers do not want you to know that this is very bad for the environment so what happens if you take a look at your disposable razor these are made of plastic and metal in combination so you cannot separate them and you cannot uh, recycle them. So what happens, they're going to landfill and they're contaminating the land, air and uh, water. And you know, this is not going to decompose because of the plastic material in it. And same thing about the Curtis razor. Uh, so these things are very hard to get rid of and it's very bad for the environment. And it's also very bad for the planet. So what happens uh, if you just think of your lifetime uh, accumulation of uh, the disposable razors, this is going to be a lot that you know you're putting it into the landfill which there's no way to get rid of because of the plastic element in it and there's a lot of like you know toxic materials which are going to be leaching into uh, land, air and water. So that's something to consider. Now when it comes to uh, double edge razor you just need a basic handle uh, which can be like you know uh, you can grab it anywhere on earth and then you have to just like you know keep buying the blades and the double edge razors they're made of mainly metal uh, mainly stainless steel and uh, these are recyclable depending on where you live whether your municipality has the facility or not uh, so you have to, you know, you can check that uh, with your municipality, but not maybe not all of them have it, but some, you know, big cities or some uh, even smaller cities may have the facility to recycle this because these are mainly metal. And even if you are not able to recycle it, 
uh, what happens if you just like you know let them rust and uh, you know put them in the ground uh, they will just like you know decompose and they will not uh, contaminate land air and water by releasing any toxic chemical because these are mainly made of uh, metal so even without uh, you know getting recycled they're much lower quantity and less uh, irritating to the planet so for that reason you know for your lifetime if you're using double edge uh, blades uh, you know you're saving the planet a lot you're doing the earth a big favor so that's another thing to consider now the third thing the manufacturers they do not want you to know about the cost so when you're buying this you may not even think of the cost you know you're accumulating over your lifetime so this can be purchased let's say like you know ten dollar a box or sometimes like you know twenty dollars depending on what and where you buy from and these are very cheap so you can just buy a basic handle from ten to twenty dollars and then for 100 blades you can pay about 10 to 20 dollars uh, depending on where you buy from so if you buy 100 of these blades that should last you about a year possibly more i'm just you know keeping things simple so your cost for one year let's say 10 to 20 dollars but if you are buying this let's say one box every year then your cost is going to be depending on what you buy and where you buy from uh 250 to 500 dollars per year so if you compare between them the difference is a staggering amount because you know 250 dollars to 500 dollars and 10 to 20 dollars so this is something the manufacturers they do not want you to know and you're going to see glorious you know ads and colorful ads about uh, disposable and cartridge razors but uh, most likely never seen any ads or anything about this because you know uh, manufacturers want to keep buying uh, this type of uh, razors and uh, because it's a much more profitable for the manufacturers and for that reason you know uh, they don't they want you to you know pay every year uh, 250 to 500 dollars instead of 10 to 20 dollars but if you want to like you know save some money and do a good to your wallet and financial future then definitely the disposable razors are way to go so these are the main three things they don't want you to know uh, there are more things about disposable razors and uh, double edge razors but for today you know i just talked about these three and after watching this video you may want to consider which one you want to go with uh, these or these so thank you for watching this video there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you